is Diddy, Prince, and motherfucking fitness. Shout out to you guys, man. Before you go anywhere further, man, before you go anywhere further, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the post notifications. And comment, let us know what you want us to get in these seats to do. Man, this is a very special day for me to do this video. This is no other than my motherfucking big bro, Cerule. Cerule the Great. This is Cerule's song, man. One of his songs off his album. You see this album cover. This is Self Ambitions. Selfish Ambitions. Uh, Cerule the Great presents Selfish Ambitions. Uh, shout out to Cookie for doing the album cover for him. Cookie Baby. Shout out to you. And you see with the bottom of AC Sex Cerule, man. This is a very, very good song. This is a heartfelt song for me because me and my wife both were foster children, foster children in the foster care system. And we want you guys to pay attention to the song. It's a lot of shit that's dropping. You're dropping a lot of jewels, a lot of things that you really need to pay attention to that a lot of people don't pay attention to about foster children. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it, man. It's a really good break. Being in foster care, you know, the foster home that he was put in, those foster family, foster parents were evil, mm -hmm. evil, predictive people. Um, they didn't take care of him like they should. They didn't love him like they should. Um, and when you are a kid that's taken out of your home and you put into someone else's home that's supposed to love you, that's... You know, your mama didn't love you or your mama didn't care for you. You place into this other home that's supposed to take care of you. And when they don't, it fucks with your mental. It fucks with your mind. It fucks with your heart. It fucks with your spirit. That's what he was going through. That's what he was trying to tell you in that song in, in, in the beginning just now. That the pain in his heart, the hatred, the love, you know, he's went through it. So let's go ahead and move on. Let's, let's go. 
This next part right here, guys, is what I want y'all to listen to as well. He said, I was stepped on and abused as a foster child. That same foster parents that he went to, I was with, with them as well. I went there as well. And what he's saying is real. It's real shit. We went through that. Let's go. Now... He said, single blocks, springs popping out. If you know what cinder blocks are, they bricks. And he called it a dungeon. That's what we called it. So this foster family, we're just going to name them Mrs. Jones, the Jones family. The Jones family had a room. And what they would do was... When a social worker would come, they would take you from the dungeon and bring you upstairs. And that upstairs room had toys, all kind of shit. Everything that a child would want, laptops, whatever. Mm -hmm. But when the foster care worker would leave, they would bring you back to the dungeon. We call it the dungeon. Anybody that had been in that house know that's called the dungeon. Because that room was dark, was black. It had nothing in there but a fucking icebox that you couldn't get into. Um, they were lock it up. Uh, it was fucked up. It was a cinder a blade, a bed that had nothing in it, uh, no sheets, barely had sheets, barely had a pillowcase, a pillow, and they would treat us like animals. Uh, right. They would treat us like animals, like we was in jail, like we was just fucked up. And they were only put on front when the foster care people would come. Um, she would tell us, I don't love you. You're only a job. You're only a check. And you're only here because I'm getting paid for y'all. Her and her husband would abuse us. They would make us do all kind of fuck shit. Um, her and her husband did physically abuse, I mean sexually abuse a lot of kids. Not me, but they tried. Um, they did try. Um, we called that house a house of horror. And because a lot of the kids that went there... Out of all the kids that went there, I think it's like a handful of kids that are still living today. A lot of them committed suicide. A lot of them died in that house. Uh, that foster family recently, as 10 years ago, got caught. But the social workers would put them, put kids in that household with them, knowing that things was going on, and the money would get split between the parts. So certain social workers would say, I'm going to give you a child, especially if it's a kid, a younger kid, they get paid more for those. I'm going to give you a child, and I know what y'all doing, but you're going to break me off, and I'm not going to say nothing about it. You're going to give me half of the money, because to be a foster parent, you get paid a lot of money back then. So I'm going to give you a child, knowing I know you're abusing them, but you're going to give me half to keep my mouth closed. A lot of social workers used to do that. So at one time, you would be having 20 kids in that house at one time. When I was there, they had 20 kids there. 20, literally 20. They would keep us split up. Or they would keep five down there, five boys down in one room, five girls in one room. That's how they did it. Um, yeah. But uh, it was crazy. And... Um, if you know, you know. But let's let's go ahead and correct it. Let's get back into it, man. Uh, listen to the rest of this, man. This is this is this is this is tough. Oh, 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 oh,
Cerule, Foster Child, that's my big bro. I love you, nigga. This one is one of my favorite songs on this album. And every time I hear it, I get chills because that household did a number on me. They did a number on me. Once I left that household, I was fucked up. Every day she would come in there and say hateful shit. You ain't nothing. You never gonna be nothing. Your mama didn't love you. Your daddy didn't love you. Every day. Every day she would do it. She found a way every day to come down and tell your spirit now. She said, we'll never get out the house. You'll never leave here. The only way you're gonna leave here is in a casket. Nobody gonna believe you. They ain't gonna never believe that I'm doing this to you. I've been around for years. I've been the best foster parent. I have, she have gotten back then they used to do these awards. I don't know if they still do it. But she got best foster parent award years and years and years. Because when they would come, you would go upstairs to the house that made amazing. It look awesome. You would think that what no child would love. Not that you wanna be here. No child every child would wanna be here. That's how the house looked it. But downstairs is a different story. And if you've been in this type of situation or if you are going through this type of situation, find someone, tell someone, let someone know what you're going through. Because you don't deserve this. You do not deserve to be in this type of household. You do not deserve to be in the house that is abusing, even if you're not a foster parent. If you're at home and your mother and dad is abusing, leave. Tell someone, tell the teacher, tell the police officer, tell somebody. Make it happen. Yeah, me and my brother to this day is fucked up. We still fucked up. We got very emotional issues, temper issues because of that shit. Going in a situation, being in a situation like that will fuck you up, man. It would make you hate everybody. It would make you hate yourself. And, uh, you know, especially every day. Every, every day somebody's telling you you ain't shit. Every day. Shout out to Tammy. Tammy got us out that. Tammy got me out of that situation. Shout out to Tammy. One of the best foster parents that I could ever. Fuck that. One of the best mothers that I could ever call my mother. Shout out to Tammy Wade. You got me out of that situation. And my worker got me out of that situation. My worker saw that I wasn't being happy. I wasn't being fed. My worker took me out of that situation and put me in Tammy's household. And that was the best thing I ever, ever, ever happened to me. Shout out to you, Tammy. Uh, I love you, mom. I miss you. But um, yeah, man. That was Cerule the Great. Foster child. Let us know. Put your comments in the comments. Leave your ratings. Let us know what you think about it. Make sure you hit the like. Go subscribe. Matter of fact, go subscribe to my bro channel, man. Go subscribe to his channel, Cerule the Great. I'm going to have it somewhere right about here. It'll be right at the top right here. Go subscribe to his channel. Go listen to the rest of his songs. He has a lot of great songs. Go support him. He's a great artist, man. He needs to support him. Please go support my brother, man. Please. Supporting him supports us. Supporting me supports him. Supporting wife, he supports him. So make sure you do that, man. And let us know what you think about it. And leave some other comments in the comments. What you want, whatever songs you want from us to do from this album. Let's go ahead and get it, man. Eating, pranks, and fitness. Make sure you hit likes. Post peace. No fear, nigga. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. You get out anybody. I do not care. I know. No fear, nigga. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. You get out anybody. Ask anybody. I do not care. What's going on, y'all? Um, I know y'all watched the video. The, the video is over now. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching my brother's video. 
uh, come check out more of his content channel as well. You can go ahead and subscribe to it. The link is gonna be above my head right here. Go subscribe to it. I just wanted to give my brother his flowers right quick, man. Um, Cerule, E, Ziploc. You got many of names, my nigga. One of the names that I call you is a hero. He's a brother. Seeing what you went through as a kid, as an adult, you took the punches so your little brothers wouldn't have to. You took the strikes so your little brothers wouldn't have to go through the things you went through. And I can say, if it wasn't for you, Steven, and the many other brothers that I have and sisters that I can look up to, I wouldn't be the man that I am today. Your music is fire. Your music is gold. But you more than your music. You a hero to young kids who want to look up to something to be. You a father. You a brother. It's not one time I haven't been able to call you and been able to count on you. It's not one time I haven't been able to call you when I was venting about anything in my life. And he was there. I want to tell you, man, I love you. And you're not blood, but you blood to me. And I want you to understand, Tammy, Tammy is extremely proud of you. Tammy is extremely proud of you. Had a dream about her last night. And all she was telling me in the dream was that she's just proud of the men you became. I hope you can have that vision one day. I hope you can have that talk with mom one day. And let her know how much she, she meant to you. And how much she meant to us. I'm going to give you your flowers, my brother. You're one of the coolest rappers coming out of Louisiana. But you won't get the spotlight because you ain't on that fuck shit. You won't get the spotlight because you ain't out there in trouble beefing with niggas. But you will get the spotlight because of people like me, my wife, my friends, my family, your family, promoting you, putting you out there. You will get the spotlight if you continue to keep grinding like you are. You will get the spotlight if you continue to keep writing music off the dome. Continue to keep pushing it. It matters. Push, 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 push that music out. When you don't got no time to do nothing, push that music out. When you frustrated at your girl, push that music out. When you frustrated at work because a nigga didn't come in early so you can go home, push that music out. That is what's going to make you or break you. Pushing your music out. I'm going to give you your flowers, my nigga. And I'm not saying this because we can't. I'm not saying this because we boys or brothers, whatever. I'm saying this because you really need to hear it. You don't get the fucking credit you deserve. But I'm going to tell you, you one of the coolest lyricals niggas that I know. The Parker, Big Bro Parker, you one of the most niggas that I can know that could come off the dome. Come off the dome and just make a song about any fucking thing. I'm going to give you your props, my nigga. You might not hear from your girl. You might not hear from your family. You might not hear from your friends. I love you, my nigga. And I respect you. Continue to keep pushing out that music, E. We need it. We need it out here in these streets. Young men need it out here in these streets. To see where you came from. To see what you've been through. Mama amazed, nigga. I want you to know that. You could be just like our other brother in prison. But you're not. You're out in these streets making an honest living. I'm proud of you. Out of you, my nigga. As much as people tell you, quit that job 
It ain't going nowhere. You stuck with that job. You stuck with that job for years now, my nigga. You got time in there. You got raises, nigga. You got people in that job respecting you. It ain't no fucking shame on the honest work. It's better a beat going out there slinging, getting popped, getting shot at, running from the police. So I'm proud of you. And I want you to know, I want the fans to know, the Listen Doctor fans, the DDCC fans, go fuck with my brother channel, man. Go fuck with his channel. Go subscribe to his channel. If you fuck with us, go subscribe to his channel. He's a part of this Stick Nation shit. He's a pioneer of this Stick Nation shit. So, from me to you, I dedicate this song to you. I dedicate this to you, my bro. I dedicate this video to you. Because I'm going to give you your flowers before it's too late. I love you.